Hi, and welcome to Fashion Vault. Today we're going to be working on some do-it-yourself flower pots. And we're going to be making these from different plastic containers that everyone has at home. Um, and we're going to be painting these plastic containers to get something like these pots behind me. So I made these yesterday using um, cat litter boxes and also some yogurt containers, dishwasher tablet container, um, and also just a regular plain pot that I kind of gave a makeover to um, by painting it in different colors. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to be using this cat litter box container. I have two cats, so there's plenty of these just lying around at home. So today I'm going to be repurposing this into a nice and colorful flower pot. Okay, so first let's start with kind of the setup of your working place. Uh, make sure to cover the floor with plastic bags or cardboard or newspapers, basically something that will prevent the paint from staining your floor. Also, it's very important to be in a well-ventilated area. If you can do it outdoors, that's great. If you're going to be doing it at home, then make sure that all the windows are open. Uh, the next thing would be kind of protecting your skin from the paint. And to do that, I will be using this pair of gloves. Um, also make sure that your hair is tied, there's nothing, no laces sticking out, no hair sticking out, um, so that you don't get a, an accidental hair dye uh, from this little project. Um, the next thing that I want to note is that you can do it even in a tiny space. So I have a very small narrow patio and I was still able to paint eight pots and I'll be working on this one um, today. Okay, so then the materials that we'll be using, just any plastic container that you have handy. Um, like I said, I'll be using cat litter boxes today, but literally anything will do. Um, I also got rust -Oleum paint, and I have um, red gloss, um, yellow, blue, um, almond, and black. Um, I will also be using this very small paintbrush, it's about one inch, um, as well as just a paintbrush that I use for uh, drawing things at home um, and it's a flat small brush. This will be for the details of the pot. Um, in addition, you want to get some plastic spoons. These will be helpful for mixing the paint and I got four of them, basically one for each color. This is going to be my palette for the project. Um, okay, so depending on the container that you'll be using, you might need to uh, work on it a little bit to make it suitable for a pot. And the first step would be to remove all the labels. So the label of this cat litter box is plastic, so I can just cut it and it will be gone. If you're working with something that has a glued label and you're having a hard time removing it, then just soak it in water for a night and in the morning it will be a lot easier to work with. Okay, so this container in particular um, needs to be cut so that it's in a, a shape that is usable for a pot. So I'm just gonna highlight it and then cut it with um, just a regular paper knife. Okay, so this is going to be the container that we're going to be painting and turning it into a DIY flower pot. If you have all the materials ready, then we can go ahead and get started. If not, you can check our blog post and there you're going to find links to all the things that I'm using in this video. So we have our paint ready. There's only one thing that you really want to make sure you do before you start painting. If you have a plastic container, which would be in most cases, um, if your plastic container does not have holes on the bottom, you want to drill some because you want the flower to be um, able to drain. Okay, so now we have four holes and we're ready to start painting.
our painted pot ready. We just need to let it dry for a while and then we'll go back to it and outline every shade with black paint. But for now, it's very important to just let it dry. Um, to prevent it from flying away, I just put one of the paint cans inside and that should be good to keep it in place. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so now that our paint is dry, we can start working on the black outline. For this, I'm going to be using just a flat brush that I use for painting stuff at home and also black paint, which I have right here. Here we have our painted DIY flower pot. Now we're just going to let the paint dry and then plant something in it. For details on how to make this flower pot, you can check our blog post. Also make sure to subscribe to our blog and our YouTube channel to see other things we are working on. After completing this flower pot, I had quite a bit of paint left over, so I decided to decorate my patio chairs. For more info on that, you can check our blog post on patio chair decoration. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.